want a soda? Is that it? Ugh, come on. We can spare something, can't we? Dugout Inn usually has some, but I can't go there. Can't be around booze. Doctor says I can't drink that. Here you go. Real sweet of you. Ah, <gasps> oh, thank you. Thank you. The number three. I said the number three. Win the game. Buy a swatter. Don't walk outside the wall undefended. High quality protection for sale. Are you here? Nick? Oh god, it's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but... You deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Trying to find someone who's gone missing. The devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Um, vault 111. It was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? My husband was... murdered. He was just trying to keep them from taking Sean and they... They just... They just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much, but... But I remember they... They called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my baby, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? And why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners, and of course there's the Institute. Who are the Gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. In other words, hard to miss. I think we can safely rule them out. So, you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. 
There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? The woman was dressed in, uh... I think it was kind of a hazard suit. The man had... some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? I might have. Everything was foggy. Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, Scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but... No one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance is bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all in as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. That platform in the mm -hmm. distance, near the city entrance, and that's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Hey, you were in the paper, right? You're 200 years old? Looking yeah, pretty good for your age, huh? Don't be caught dead! <laughs> hey, <laughs> Protection what you got for me? from Commonwealth Weaponry! Come on! Uh-huh. Thank you. 
The mayor's receiving visitors, as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? So I can just head in and talk to McDonough? Go right ahead. His office is open. He likes to make time for everyone when he can. No funny business around the mayor. You got it? Ah, yes. I remember you. Our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes, getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help you? I'm looking for a key to a house in the city. I assume the mayor's office has a copy. <laughs> well, we don't have every key in the city. Where would we put them all? <laughs> Besides, every citizen in my city has a right to their privacy. Now, if we did have a key, only the owner can ask for it. That's my final word. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my baby. I need to find him. Oh, of course. I... I will do everything in my power to help you overcome this horrible personal tragedy. I remember Mr. Kellogg. Didn't like him myself. Paranoid. Never talked to anyone. I doubt you'll find him. But I insist you take the key to his old house. It's been abandoned, though. I'm afraid this whole thing might be fruitless. must have left something behind. I try to be? Seems like you're doing better than trying. I appreciate it. Too few to folks can be bothered. Of course, like in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I mean, look at Diamond City. A place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, Oh, desk. Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. I'm telling you, something's not right. Look for anything out of sorts. Is Diamond City really in danger? It's not like there's raiders pounding on the gate. Are you kidding me? There is a very real chance the city leadership has been infiltrated by an institute synth. A synth under the control of an organization widely known to kidnap or murder anyone that stands up to them. I'd take raiders at the gate any day of the week over that. Of course, making sure folks are actually listening. <laughs> That's a battle in itself. Sounds like it must be exhausting. Huh, no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary, knowing what's really out there. <laughs> The night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid. Some institute drone will decide today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it, because I know the truth. That's what protects us. Scared, huh? Could have fooled me. I'm pushy, not crazy. Honestly, these days I'm more scared for my sister. I don't know what I'd do if something happened to her. But I'm not the only one with something to lose. That's why people deserve to know what's out there, good or bad. Couldn't agree more. 
How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly. Most folks, though, they'd prefer a comforting lie. Not me. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. Well, uh, one day, our dad turns up dead. His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. Turns out, the captain, he'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was gonna leave the gates open one night. Let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was gonna turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So, I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. <laughs> the town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. What happened after that? We made do. Sis was still pretty young at the time, and Mom was... out of the picture. So, we got by on the kindness of others for a while. Eventually, I saved up enough to book us both passage with the caravan, and then we moved on up to the big city. Called it home ever since. I'm sorry about your dad. Thanks. It was hard after he was gone, but... Knowing that he died doing right, that's always made it easier. But hey, I, I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who, who actually seems to get it, you know? So, should we head out? could figure out a good use for it. Well, look at this. All of a Merc's favorite things. Nick. Check out what's on that table. When it's stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, cigars, San Francisco sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Any suggestions, Nick? Hmm. What about dog meat? Commonwealth mutt like him can track a man's scent for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. You can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. Any words of wisdom? If Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son, then he's dangerous. But so are you. You don't need to be afraid of him, or anything else the Commonwealth throws at you. Goodbye, Nick. Hopefully not forever. I want to see you and your kids safe and sound when you get back. Good luck. Anytime you need help, just come knocking.
Hey. What can I do? Hey, here. Something to keep you sharp. Always worked for me. Your thoughts? Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. Or, you know, if you need anything proofread. That's all for now. Sure. Meat. Get the scent, boy. Got something, boy? Hey, somebody was here. You think it was Kellogg? San Francisco Sunlights. Kellogg's preferred brand, all right. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on?
on the right path, huh? So where'd you go from here? <laughs> Bloody bandages. Dog meat can track this. Kellogg's still out there. We've got to track him, boy. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on?
Hogmeat's got something. See anything? When it's stout, one of his creature comforts. I'll need your nose to track Kellogg, boy. Okay, boy. Let's track him. Attention, assailant. Lower your weapons this immediately. Is Kellogg's handiwork? Alert. Critical signs. Alert. Critical signs. What have we here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. What happened here? Hear that? Is that you? Known mercenary. Exercise extreme caution. Lost ascent, boy. Attention, assailant. Lower your weapons immediately. What have we here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs.
What happened here? Error. Operator deceased. Threat level Omega. He... killed... us. We're still on track. Hopefully he's not much further. You can find him. What do you think, boy? Huh? Was this our man? Is this the place? Huh? Is he in here, boy? Alright, Blue. It's you and me. I think dog meets are in some time off. Hey, boy. Everything okay, boy? Come on, boy. It's time to go. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? Sure, let's go. Will do.
that.
disappeared. because you fear death. present.
is all this? Frozen TV dinner. Last time we met, you were cozying up to the peas and apple cobbler.
Nice. Can't keep you out. of making it to Diamond City. After that, I figured the Commonwealth would chew you up like jerky. Pissed off, I get it, I do. But whatever you hope to accomplish in here, <laughs> it's not gonna go your way.
What was that? Wish it hadn't come to that. days, hasn't it? Guts and determination. It's admirable. But you are in over your head in ways you can't possibly comprehend. Folks are just looking for a hand. All we gotta do is...
made it. I'm just up ahead. Sweet. My synths are standing down. Let's talk. Enough! Just... Where is my baby? <laughs> Lady, I'm just a puppet like you. My stage is a little bigger, that's all. Sean's a good kid. So maybe he's not quite a baby anymore, but... He's doing great. Only... He's not here. He's with the people pulling the strings. Tell me where he is, damn it. Fine. I guess you've earned that much. Sean's in a good place. Where he's safe and comfortable and loved. The place he calls home. The Institute. So where is it, huh? This Institute? How do I get there? <laughs> Haven't you been paying attention? You don't find the Institute. The Institute finds you. You open the closet, it's just a closet. You can never find the monster that hides inside. Not until it jumps out at you. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. So, you ready? I'm gonna make you suffer. You were barely human.
not interfere. Our intentions are peaceful. We are the Brotherhood of Steel. All Brotherhood of Steel units are to return to the Cambridge Police Station immediately for reassignment. Repeating. This is Paladin Dance on Frequency 9-5. All Brotherhood of Steel units are to return to the Cambridge Police Station immediately for reassignment.